Happy New Year, everyone. It is now 2023, and hopefully Prodigy has a lot coming this year. In this video, I will be discussing my picks for updates that should happen in 2023. These are all my opinion, so let me know what you think in the comments. This is not a short list, but please make sure to watch until the end. Let's get started. The Storm Tower. This is an obvious one. The Storm Tower just needs to happen in 2023. In August of 2023, it will have been two years since the Ice Tower came out. So it's perfectly reasonable to say that the Storm Tower should be arriving sometime in 2023. Hopefully, sooner rather than later. The Starlight Festival. This one is not as much of an update as something that just needs to happen. The Starlight Festival is the most inconsistent out of all of Prodigy's festivals. It hasn't happened in a little while now, and it needs to come. So hopefully, sooner rather than later in 2023, Starlight Festival will happen. The Magic Mart. If you did not know, this was a beta testing update that happened in 2021, where the few people who got the update were able to buy old arena items and old member box items from a spot in their hotbar. It looked like this. After one month, it was removed from all accounts that had it. I believe that in 2023, this update should return with a better design and more items included. I will be making a video on my plan for the perfect Magic Mart, so stay tuned for that. The Archives Wheel Update I won't go into much detail about this because I very recently made a video about it. You can check that out for more information on my thoughts about this update. But it is basically an update that has been in beta testing for over a year now. It's not a big update, but I do really want the Frog Wizard set. I really hope that this update comes out in early 2023. The entire game HD reskin. This is something that started in 2022 with the character update. Everything Prodigy has made afterward has been in HD instead of pixels. That includes all the outfits, hats, wands, boots, etc. Everything is being transformed into HD, and I believe that when this update is finished, the entire game will be HD. Nothing will look the same. I hope that this happens by the end of 2023. An area and gear for the mythical epics. The epics have the epic subspace, so clearly the mythical epics should have something. Either it be a new section in the epic subspace, or a new island entirely, Prodigy needs to add something for the mythical epics. That includes gear. Hopefully, full sets instead of just hats and wands. I think that this may involve them cutting back on the amount of mythical epics they release. I believe it would be better if Prodigy did one mythical epic every two months instead of one mythical epic every month. Since Prodigy is putting a lot of time into the mythical epics and not as much time into the other updates, if that's what it would take for Prodigy to get these updates done faster, then I'm willing to sacrifice one mythical epic a month. I hope this happens in 2023. Arena seasons that are more like Arc of Light. Whether you like Battle of Beetles and Superhero Showdown or not, you can agree that they just don't have the same feeling as Arc of Light and Food Fight did. There are no buddies, no extra furniture, nothing like that. There's only one armor set, and you get it in the middle of the season instead of at the end. The reason for these changes are unknown, but I would like for them to bring things like buddies back. Even if there is not a heart bonus 10 set, I would still like there to be 3 sets that you can get at the end of the season. They should definitely bring back buddies and furniture, and I don't really have an opinion on whether they should change it back to 15 trophies per battle instead of how they have it at now, 50. But I really do hope that in 2023, the arena seasons are more like Arc of Light and Food Fight instead of Battle of Beetles and Superhero Showdown. The Battle Rewards System This was yet another beta update that first appeared in early 2022, which introduced a system where you would get prizes for doing a certain amount of battles. I never had this update, so I don't know much about it. I just know that you would get certain prizes such as the white onion helm, the satellite visor, and the chonky cat. I am interested in this update. As of right now, nobody has this update, but hopefully it will reappear in 2023. 
the addition of the old hats and boots back to battle chests. It is not well known that these are not possible to get anymore. These used to be obtainable through battle chests, but for whatever reason they were removed. It was only the oldest hats and boots. It included the training cap, the training boots, the cloth shoes, the light hat, etc. There is absolutely no reason why these should not be added back into battle chests. And even though Prodigy is focused on bigger updates, hopefully this can get done in 2023. The addition of more cloud mounts. It is pretty obvious that Prodigy needs to add more cloud mounts into the game. I hope more are added during 2023. I believe every festival should have a mount, at least one, and I would like for every arena season to have a mount as well. However they do it, there just needs to be more mounts added into the game. The addition of the leaked Titan sets. I very recently made a video on this. I would suggest checking it out for more information on this topic. There are five Titan sets that have been leaked, one for each element. I'm not sure whether Prodigy plans to add all of these at once, or one at a time. Either way, I feel like they should all be fully added by the time 2023 ends. While I'm at the Titan, let me talk about the Titan Power Boots. I feel like this is a really simple and obvious one. Every Titan set has a pair of boots except for the Titan Power set. It doesn't make any sense, and I feel like this would be an easy fix. I don't know if they already have the design for the Titan Power Boots, and just never actually ended up adding them. But if they don't, they just have to make them, and then add them into the game. Again, check out my recent video on this topic for more information. Hopefully Prodigy can get these added in 2023. The addition of a turkey buddy. This is one I do not need to explain much. Prodigy just does not have a turkey buddy. Why? I completely agree with Davy Day that the 2023 November member box should have a turkey buddy in it. The addition of a water throne. My brother suggested this, and I definitely agree with him. I have put out the four elemental thrones that are available to buy in the shops. Unfortunately, there is currently no water throne. This really bugs me, and I'm sure plenty of people can agree. This needs to be added to the Shipwreck Shore shop in 2023. The addition of the water gargoyles. On the topic of water element things being added into the game, we have the water gargoyles. Yet again, I have a recent video on this, so make sure to check that out. These three pets are confirmed by hacking to be water gargoyles. It is the water element evolution line of pets such as Scally, Fisherel, and Sentinel. I strongly believe that these will be coming through the pet update. When all of the pets are reskinned to be HD, the water gargoyles are going to be slipped in as if they were never gone. You will be able to rescue them in Shipwreck Shore and other elemental areas. Since this goes with the game reskin update, I believe that this should happen in 2023. Again, check out my recent video for more information. The full release of Harmony Island Part 2. Although Harmony Island Parts 1 and 2 were released in 2021, some players did not receive the full Part 2 update. I was one of them. Those who did not get the update were not able to get things such as the Ruined Dweller set from chests in Harmony Island. I got the Ruined Dweller set and the furniture from Prodigy Customer Support. Harmony Island Part 2 is still not fully released and I hope that in 2023 everyone will be able to experience it. By getting these items of course, everyone can still battle the Ancient. But hopefully this is another minor update that will happen in 2023. The re-edition of the improved Titan Shard system. It is annoying that this is even gone at the moment. This was my favorite update from Prodigy in 2022, but since the addition of the Ice Titan, the old system has returned. I fully believe that this was an accident. There was no reason for them to take this update back. It seemed to be complete and was much more efficient for getting Titan Shards. 
Since the Ice Titan was already programmed in the game, but not added, it is most likely that Prodigy forgot to add the new system to the Ice Titan's code, and all of the Titans afterward were affected. I have already let Prodigy know about this, and I hope that it will be fixed in early 2023. More Ultimate Member Boxes Per Year A lot of people do not find an Ultimate Membership worth it. You don't get many new items per year. Multiple months pass between Ultimate Member Boxes, and there are only two items per box. To make people more willing to buy an Ultimate Membership, I would suggest putting out more Ultimate Member Boxes per year, or adding more new items into each Ultimate Member Box. I hope that Prodigy takes this advice for 2023. Fixing the pet book. As you may know, I have many problems with the pet book, specifically the pets that have been added most recently. I have voiced my concerns in two different videos, so I won't be going over everything right now. But my main problems include the mythical epics, the festival pets, and the ultimate member pets. You can check out the full description of all of my problems with the current pet book in either of those two videos. And finally, the redesigning of houses. As the game reskin update carries on, the houses will become more and more outdated. I believe that this will call for an extreme house update. Houses are completely redesigned to have even more room and more features that you can change. It is also important that they add water and storm themed houses. Hopefully they will find a way to have animated furniture items actually work properly. I don't know what Prodigy has planned, but I hope it is good, and I hope it comes out in 2023. Wow, this is a long list of updates. Many of them are minor though. I don't expect all of them to happen, but I do hope that as many as possible do end up happening. These are all of the updates I would like to happen in 2023. What updates do you want to see from Prodigy in 2023? Let me know in the comments. I know that 2023 is going to be an amazing year. We should be at 2,000 subscribers in no time. So, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Prodigy content.